does your tap water have chlorine and is it safe for your aquarium very very important to know right hi guys i'm rahul and welcome back to my channel yay so this video i would have seen the title is about the chlorine test kit this particular test kit is from uh, aquatic remedies but there are other different varieties of chlorine test kit but this is something i found online but it's very important to have a test kit like this it's not very expensive it's about 300 rupees but that shouldn't be a matter but why i'm saying this is very important is because chlorine is very very harmful to our fishes and uh, we should be sure uh, if there is kind of chlorine in our water and uh, so that is one reason we need this so in this video basically shown how the kit has to be used i'm sure most of the kits are very similar this is not a sponsored video it is just something i picked up and i feel everybody should have it because it's a very important uh, factor in our uh, hobby and you know water is very very important when it comes to the aquarium hobby so that's the basic thing i just feel is one of the things uh, must have everybody should have uh, in the hobby so let's get into the video and if you guys are visiting my channel for the first time uh, please do consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon we regularly make videos on discus keeping planted tanks marine tanks flower horn and other tips and tricks about how to keep the hobby going so uh, stay tuned and see you on the other side This is the chlorine uh, test kit by Aquatic Remedies which I bought from Amazon it is about 350 rupees uh, link of this I leave in the uh, videos description you can uh, pick it up this is the basic scale one kit you can do 50 tests and uh, you need uh, this is basically uh, an API freshwater test kit which I have. This is uh, like a test tube which can hold 5 ml water. So to test chlorine you need to fill 5 ml of water of the water what you want to test and then add drops from this. And that's how we can test. So let me take some water from the tap. Just let's check how much of chlorine level is there in the tap water. Let's open up the test kit. They have also given a test tube. I thought they didn't give so that's why I took mine what I have. So let's fill water into their test tube itself. Great. So this is 5 ml of water that we have and as per the instructions we need to put 5 drops of water for 5 ml. So it's got a small uh, line which I just cut using the blade and uh, that's how this thing opens up oops i dropped water let me fill it up okay so let's open this up and put five drops as per the instructions one two three four I need to mix it really well and uh, let it to settle. So it seems like I don't have pour in my tap tap water. So as per the chart you can see there is no chlorine maybe I'll get some chlorinated water again to show you the color difference 
So as always thinking uh, there is chlorine in the water but yeah as per this test there is no chlorine. So yeah this is just a kit which is handy to keep just in case you are using there are a lot of people who use direct tap water into your aquariums. So it is not very expensive you can just pick it up keep it in hand. So in case you have a doubt whether there is chlorine in the tank you can just uh, do a small test. These kind of small test kits are always good to keep, especially if you are uh, in the aquarium hobby. So that's why I thought I should share this video. Okay, signing off. So previously what you saw was actually the tap water which was aged for at least couple of days in my main tank. So this is direct water which has come from the uh, municipality or uh, here in Bangalore it is Kaveri water. So the direct water which comes definitely has chlorine. So I just collected it this morning. So you can see there is a level of up to I think close to 2. 2 is the level of chlorine. So over time that's one more reason right. So chlorine gets evaporated over time. So that's why we say aging water uh, is very important uh, in the hobby or we can use um, liquids like Seacam Prime these are basically uh, this is basically a complete dechlorinator so which instantly removes out uh, chlorine, chloramines and detoxifies ammonia, nitrate, nitrites so this is a product which I have been using for very long for removing chlorine so aging uh, with aging and uh, addition of Seacam Prime is completely safe for fishes. So, like I said earlier, having these kind of kits, uh, which are not very expensive, is very handy. So, yeah. So, yeah. Finally, signing off because the previous shot I didn't get the uh, you know the it was completely there was no chlorine, so I just waited for a day, and uh, I got this water. And of course I need to make sure if the test kit was working fine. <laughs> right, okay, signing off. And links for all of these will be mentioned in this video description. So you guys can click on it and bye. So hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give us a big thumbs up and do leave your comments. I would like to know what you think about this video and also about some topics that we've not covered till now. So we can work on some new videos. So hope you guys understood uh, about the importance of a chlorine test kit and uh, this is also an important product. I'll leave the links of both in this video's description. This basically removes chlorine. This is basically to find out how chlorine is there. So these two things are very important I feel. Uh, especially when you're using uh, you know the, your uh, municipality water what is coming and that's a very common thing in our country. So hope you guys like this video and uh, don't go anywhere. You'll see a lot of our uh, video links around so do have a look at our most popular videos and some playlists also will come up so do have a look and until next time bye bye but it's very important to have so that we are uh, i'm saying the same thing oh my god i'm saying the same thing again and again, and again. okay one more one more one more let's go